morning everyone from Ketchikan, Alaska. Unfortunately, we weren't able to dock in Sitka. We had to skip that cruise port due to like 17 foot waves. They actually ended up reporting they were supposed to be 15 foot. They grew to 17 to 20 foot waves. So we wouldn't have been able to dock. We wouldn't have even been able to sail there through the Pacific Ocean. But Ketchikan is inside the channels, inside an inlet. So that is where we are at this morning. Um, that same storm bringing those waves is here in Ketchikan. So we're expecting a very rainy day. But today is all about Alaskan culture and Native American culture because we are doing an excursion with Holland America Cruise Line where we are going to go to a Native American village. I've been learning actually that the Tlingit are the traditional Native American tribes here so we're going to go visit them. We are going to go to a totem park pole uh, like totem pole park there we go which seems really neat and then we're going to see a traditional like lumberjack show which sounds awesome. Kind of wanted to take today to dive into a little bit of that Alaskan culture here in Ketchikan. Yesterday at Sitka was supposed to be like our wildlife day. We had a bear tour and everything, but that's okay. We'll just come back to Alaska and see that some other time. We are in the town of Ketchikan here. We are actually gonna be starting with the Lumberjack Show. And the excursion lady told us to come down here to a stop sign and make a right. So I hope we're going to the right place and we get to do our Lumberjack Show. Seems right. I guess we'll see. It's with Holland America and she had a Holland America shirt on, so we should be alright. So the Lumberjack Show I guess is actually right here in Ketchikan because when we, when we made a right at that stop sign it was right here and their first show is at 8.45. It looks like they do shows every two hours so if you guys want to add that into your itinerary here um, you can definitely do that or I know some people are doing other excursions this morning and then coming back and seeing this later. So that's definitely an easy option because I didn't realize how easy it was to get to the Lumberjack Show right from the cruise ship. Like there's the cruise ship <laughs> and here we are at the Lumberjack Show already. So go see what they're doing and I don't know if I can video in here so I'll let you guys know. All right we have been sat for the lumberjack show here over here is a little concession stand they do have like coffee hot chocolate um tea anything that you need over there and then over here is where the show is going to happen so it's a pretty big covered theater which is nice especially for the rain here in Ketchikan that we're having today. Okay, so after the Lumberjack show, we are back on the bus here. You catch the bus back towards the cruise ship, so you just walk from the Lumberjack show back to the cruise ship. Maybe it's a two-minute walk. And we are on the bus to the Saxman Native Village. The baseball field out here where the marina is before they dredged it, you could play ball until the tide got up knee-deep, and, and you had to quit. And that one tells the story of that particular family. There's another one right here in front of the university and it tells the story of the university. You know, it's got the individuals on it, what they do here, it's a maritime. Okay, we have arrived to the Saxman Village. We are in a room right now to watch a show first before we go out and explore and see the dance. finished up inside watching that little movie clip there that was really neat to learn about all the Native Americans who are still here on this land. We are going to make our way up to the Beaver Clan house and I think that's where we are going to see the dance. We are making our way through the rainforest here. It is a good little hike back to the village but this is so beautiful. It makes me want to hike Alaska.
time to explore outside around the totem poles. Now these totem poles, they like to call them story poles because each of them tells a beautiful story. We finished up here at the gift shop and we are making our way over to the carving shop. It's probably pretty foggy. You guys probably can't see me too well on here right now. The rain's still coming down quite much here, huh? making it very difficult to vlog. But that's Alaska weather for you. <laughs> so reindeer, a must. Again, like always, in all these Alaska videos, my Alaska packing list will be in the description below. Uh, I was, I was asking, you were sent to now, the second time, what I mentioned? Yep. All right, we have made it back on board here in Ketchikan. It's about 1.30, 2 o'clock, so the ship does leave in about an hour and a half. We were going to eat in town, but it is just pouring down rain, and we didn't really want to walk around to try to find somewhere to eat. So we were like, you know what, free food on the cruise. Let's just go back there. So otherwise, I would normally try stuff that we are, or where we are. But um, overall, great day. The Lumberjack Show highlight of the day that was so much fun that was a really really good show i do highly recommend that the rest of it the totem poles and the native village was neat there was a lot of downtime it kind of took a while to get everything otherwise we would have had much more time back here in ketchikan i think next time i would do a different excursion for here um but definitely still include the lumberjack show so just something to keep in mind um in here in ketchikan it was okay but I think there is like a totem pole state park and everything that would have been neat to check out um and some other cool things to do here there's like bear and wildlife stuff so i think next time i am gonna plan on something different but it was still a lot of fun want to cruise with me to alaska i am hosting an alaska cruise on holland america line in july of 2023 including reduced fares onboard credit in cabin gifts and much more all of this is only available if you book with us here at main street and beyond travel company and for more information, please use the links in the description in the video below or email Shannon at MainStreetAndBeyondTravel.com. I look forward to meeting and hosting you in Alaska soon.